Auburn traffic, Lightsport 1, Mike Zulu turning, 4 mile left 45, runway 25, Auburn. Hey, welcome back to Sting Flight. This video is designed for newbies, if you just got your ticket or you're still in training. However, you seasoned veterans may pick up something useful as well, so hang with me and find out. I'll be revealing my secret method for getting up to speed in a hurry, making good radio calls at non-towered airports. The first step in my method is to get a couple pieces of equipment. One of these, a handheld aviation radio and a digital audio recorder such as this Sony. And now I'll show you what to do with those. Step number two is to drive to a busy non-towered airport, especially at a busy time of day such as a Saturday around 10 a.m. in the morning. Find yourself a good strategic place to park under a shade tree. Open up a cooler full of cool ones. Make sure your radio is dialed into the right frequency. Turn on your digital recorder and start recording until you've recorded between 50 and 100 good. until you've recorded between 50 and 100 good clear radio calls. Then you're ready for step number three. Okay, an alternate method for recording uh, radio calls is to do it from your airplane. So you'll have to patch that uh, digital recorder in to your communications line. And then you want to go aloft to a pretty high level, uh, 4,000 feet AGL or higher, and uh, just hang out in a holding pattern or go take a trip someplace, but uh, dial in one of those busy airport tower non-tower frequencies such as 123.00, 122.8, or 122.7. And by being at altitude, you're going to be recording uh, calls from uh, many different airports, so you're going to hit your quota of 50 to 100 recorded calls in a relatively short amount of time, uh, probably 30 minutes or less. The third step in the system is to analyze those radio calls you've just recorded. What you want to do is give each call either a pass or a failing grade. And if the call fails, you want to reword it so that it passes. Now here's what you need to know in order to do this pass-fail grading. Gosh, I hate acronyms. There seems to be way too many of them in aviation. Nevertheless, Here's another one that you really ought to remember, www.i. This one will remind you of the four key components of every good radio call. Who, what, where, and intentions. Build all of your non-towered radio calls off www.i. In addition, here are a dozen other radio call essentials to adhere to. 1. After first switching to frequency, wait. This is known as reading the mail. 2. Don't push to talk until you know exactly what you're going to say. 3. Say the airport at both the beginning and end of each transmission. 4. Say your call all in one breath, otherwise it's too long. 5. Make calls at turns when the airplane is most visible. 6. Avoid active runway language. Always say the runway number. 7. Avoid last call language. What? You're, you won't push to talk again even if you see a collision looming? 8. Avoid saying, any traffic in area, please advise. The AIM specifically cautions against this. 9. Avoid unnecessary gobbledygook phrases such as planning for or setting up for. 10. Never assume a quiet frequency means no other aircraft. Nordos, no radio, volume down low, wrong frequency, may be lurking just ahead. 11. When outside the pattern, 
Give your altitude along with your position. And 12. Never use the CTAF to chat with another airplane. Air-to-air -air chat is on 122.75 and 122.85, never 123.45. Okay, are you ready for some fun now? Let's get to work and actually analyze some of those radio calls. These are calls that I actually recorded. They're real calls. <laughs> but I did uh, re-record them in my own voice and change the end numbers. Uh, on some of them at least. You'll see why when uh, you, when you hear some of them. So let's get to it. Yolo County Traffic Citation 3 November Sierra is clearing the area to the southwest. Yolo. <laughs> Yolo County Traffic Citation 3 November Sierra upwind runway 16 climbing 1000 to 4500 southwest departure Yolo County. Placerville traffic, Cirrus 1, Sierra Charlie is 10 miles to the south. Um, please provide advisory if anybody at or around the field, Placerville. <laughs> Placerville traffic, Cirrus 1, Sierra Charlie, 10 south, 4,500, descending for left 45, runway 23, Placerville. You got it! Rancho Murrieta traffic, Skyhawk Niner, Papa Zulu turning 3.5 mile left 45, runway 25, Rancho Murrieta. <laughs> Franklin traffic, Skyhawk 1, Charlie Bravo, 5 miles east. Uh, we're going to overfly and check the windsock. <gasps> Franklin traffic, Skyhawk 1, Charlie Bravo, 5 east, 1,600 level for east to west overflight for wind check, Franklin. Gustine traffic, Cessna Alpha 4 Bravo turning left base, runway 36, Gustine. <laughs> Red Bluff traffic, uh, Cessna 43 Golf is um, 4 miles to the west, uh, planning to overfly the field at uh, 5,000 feet, Red Bluff. Red Bluff traffic, Cessna 43 Golf is 4 west, 5,000 level for overflight departing eastbound, Red Bluff. Okay, well. Half Moon Bay traffic, Zatabria 1 Elko Charlie is coming around the point. Request advisories, Half Moon Bay. <laughs> Half Moon Bay traffic, Zatabria 1 Echo Charlie is 3 northwest, 1,700, maneuvering for right downwind, runway 30 Half Moon Bay. You got it! Willows traffic, Mooney 1 1 Sierra is uh, going to divert to the west to set up for left downwind 3 4 Willows. <gasps> Willis traffic, Mooney 11 Sierra, 2.5 east, 1,700 level. We'll overfly and descend to 3 mile left 45, runway 34 Willows. Calusa traffic, Yellow Cub number one is six miles south on the center line, 2,000 feet descending for straight in, runway 31 Calusa. Ukiah traffic, Seneca, 32 Foxtrot, 10 miles northwest, 5,500, descending to 4,500 to eventually get a 45 entry to runway 15. <laughs> Ukiah traffic, Seneca, 32 Foxtrot, 10 northwest, 5,500, descending for left 45, runway 15, Ukiah. Benton traffic, Piper Cub Alpha Alpha leaving tie down area and uh, pulling onto the active taxiway preparing for a runway 33 takeoff. Poor baby. Benton traffic, Piper Cub Alpha Alpha on taxi, transient tie downs to runway 33 Benton. Okay, well. Yolo County traffic, Husky 3 Kilo Kilo, 3 miles out on the 45, uh, will be turning left downwind for runway 34 Yolo. Oh. Yolo County traffic, Husky 3, Kilo Kilo, 3 mile left 45, runway 34, Yolo County. You got it! Oakdale, Twin Cessna turning left downwind, 28 Oakdale. Cloverdale traffic, Mall is just off of runway 32, departing the pattern to the east, Cloverdale. 
Cloverdale traffic, Mall, Niner Niner Zulu, upwind, runway 32, turning right crosswind, climbing through 1300, departing east, Cloverdale. Okay, well. Corning traffic, Centurion, Oscar 36 is over the river and will be making a straight in for runway 35. <laughs> Corning traffic, Centurion, Oscar 36 is 8 miles southwest, 2,300 descending straight in, runway 35, Corning. Uh -huh. Half Moon Bay traffic, Baron Niner Niner Whiskey will be crossing overhead, 1,500, and entering left 45 for 30, Half Moon Bay. Uh -huh. Half Moon Bay traffic, Baron Niner Niner Whiskey, 2.5 west, 1,500 level for midfield crosswind to left 45, runway 30, Half Moon Bay. Uh -huh. Franklin traffic, Cessna 3 Mike Zulu, 5 northwest, 3,500 level for overflight headed southeast to Lodi, Franklin traffic. Nut tree traffic, RV-12 over the Mansville Nursery for left traffic, 02, nut tree. <laughs> nut tree traffic, RV-12 is 4 northwest, pattern altitude, maneuvering for left 45, runway 02, nut tree. You got it! Lake Tahoe traffic, Light Sport 1 Mike Zulu turning final, runway 18, Lake Tahoe. Petaluma traffic, Cherokee 4 Niner Niner, um, about six miles north, um, in uh, inbound for runway. <laughs> Petaluma traffic, Cherokee 4 Niner Niner is six north, 1,700 descending for two mile left 45, runway 26, Petaluma. Thanks for watching. Browse my other videos at Sting Flight and subscribe. It's free. Wherever you are in the world, share your aviation. Share aviation, a network for pilots by pilots.